You are watching the Dangerous News Network, and I am Daniel Dangerous D. McFarland, giving you the news on the Tigers and the Boston Red Sox. Last night was a disaster for the Detroit Tigers. Eight home runs and 20 points allowed. Excuse me, that's eight home runs and 20 runs total allowed. That's embarrassing. Rick Porcello, he has shown beyond a reasonable doubt that he cannot be counted on in big games. He sucks as a big game pitcher. He has shown that he cannot be more than a number four pitcher on his best day. He's no, he may not be any more than a number five pitcher, to be honest. The only two pitchers that the Detroit Tigers can truly count on on a consistent basis to give ace-like performances is Matt Scherzer and Anibal Sanchez. Justin Verlander has devolved into human. He's no longer going to be the superhuman he was in 2011. Now, if he can pitch as a number three pitcher, that would be good if he didn't have the contract extension. But he's still not worth $200 million. Doug Fister has a gem, but... For every gym, he blows up. And Rick Porcello, like I said, he's nothing more than a number five pitcher. Let's talk about that bullpen. That bullpen, no death. No death, nothing. You see... Our Kirky has no reason to be in the major league game. He's all fastball and no control and definitely no command. He has shown that. He has shown that over and again. There's a reason why the Chicago Cubs got rid of his ass. Eight fucking home runs allowed. That is inexcusable for any month. I don't care if it was April, May, June, July, or August. That's inexcusable. Jeremy Bonderman, he's washed up. He doesn't have it anymore. And even when he was semi-good, he was a number five pitcher at best. And that was on his best days. And now that he got injured and now that now that he's lost his effectiveness, Seattle got rid of him for a good reason. He's just not major league material anymore. And I'm not sure if he ever was. We could do much better with the starting rotation. I can tell you that. Drew Smiley needs to be the starter. He can't do worse than Rick Porcello. We have Scherzer for another year. We got Sanchez. And unfortunately, we got Verlander, for better or for worse. But we should put Smiley in, and we need another left-handed starter, and we need another left-handed reliever. We need two left-handed relievers, matter of fact. Get rid of Colt, get rid of Albuquerque, get rid of Bonderman. They all have to go. Now, Bruce Rondon, he's shown at times that he has potential. He was inexperienced. Dave Dombrowski should have predicted that. He should have predicted that the bullpen was going to blow up in his face. 
any general manager, any other general manager, and this bullpen would not have fasted like this. The bullpen problems would not have fasted under any other general manager, except for the dumbest ones. That, I can tell you the truth about that. Now let's look at um, the lineup. No speed. You don't have a real leadoff hitter. Austin Jackson is a number six, number seven hitter. Now he has enough power to pass as a number six hitter, but really he's only a number seven hitter. And if I had my way, I'd put him at number eight. That's the type of hitter he is. He's a disposition three player. A bottom of the order type. He has no business in the top of the order on a World Series team. Dave Dombrowski better get serious if he ever wants a win. We could have had Michael Bourne. We could have had Michael Bourne. And we still would have had Tory Hunter. Miguel Cabrera. We need Miguel Cabrera to get healthy again. Even though it wouldn't have made a goddamn difference if Miguel Cabrera was healthy tonight, that night, I mean, we still would have lost badly because we can't count on our bottom, we can't count on the back of our rotation or much of our bullpen to do shit. That's the truth. We can't count on our bullpen much of it to do shit. We needed a top of the line closer. I don't care if we had to give up Nick Castellanos. I would have given up. Really, I would have um, I would have given up a draft pick and Nick Castellanos for a top tier closer, and I would have given up. And a lead off, and I would have gone after Michael Bourne. I really don't understand why Dave Dombrowski didn't go after him. A real base stealer, and hits left handy. Even though he throws right handy, he hits left handy. Base stealer. Did he really think Austin Jackson was a great leadoff hitter? I didn't. I thought he was no more than a number. And let's look at a villain. Look at a villain. Here's the reason why a is on the team. His father. His father. If it wasn't for his father... If he had any other father except for Alex Avila Sr. Well, Alex Avila, if he had any other father except for Alex Avila, he would not be on the Detroit Tigers. He would have been sold while the trade value was high in 2011 when he had that flash in the pan year. And we would have had Gio Gonzalez. That's the truth. He would have never gone to the Nationals. He would have been going to the Tigers. And this, and he could have still had Jose Iglesias even with the moves he had to make. 
Dave Dombrowski was lazy. He did absolutely nothing at the trade deadline as far as ball being held. Now, Jose Veras, he's serviceable, but we need a more than Jose Veras. I guess Dave Dombrowski overestimated our Albuquerque and overestimated how much Jerry Bonderman truly had in his tank and underestimated how bad the bullpen really was. If Cleveland and Kansas City take us to the wire, or even worse, overtake us, he'll learn, he'll learn the hard way. Will that mean that Jim Leland is gone? Well, I'm not saying, I'm not saying I hope or I don't hope, but I'm going to say that, I'm going to say that Dave Dombrowski gave Leland absolutely zilch as far as bullpen goes. Benoit is homer prone. He's a setup man. He's not a closer. And um, but let's look at um, but let's look at Nick Castellanos. So far, I'm not that impressed from what I've seen of him. But hopefully, he gets it going on Friday, which is tomorrow. Okay. So here's what the Tigers need in the off season. Let's talk offense. Let's talk offense. We need a left fielder. Andy Dirks is not the answer as a starting left fielder. He's an okay fourth outfielder. Really, he's ideal as an emergency 25th man, an emergency 5th outfielder. Matt T. We also Sofu, he has no business in the major leagues. He was a flash in the pan. He might have been flash in the pan. I wouldn't be sad to see Matt T. We also Sofu go. We got all we could out of him. Nice guy, hard worker. But it takes more than hard work to be a major league to be a major league player. <coughs> now we're set at center field. And we're set at right field for one more year. Tory Hunter, he's good at number two in the lineup. Austin Jackson needs to be moved much lower. Let's look at the infield. Miguel Cabrera is not going to hold up at third base. We need a real third baseman. And Prince Fielder, but guess what? Miggy's going to have, Miggy's going to be a third baseman next year though as long as V Mart is here. With V Mart having another year left, then he will have no choice but to play third base. But I'm gonna tell you, he's not gonna hold up. I'm hoping that he holds up that year. But but you see, the injuries that he sustained this year, even though he's still threatening to win the back-to-back -back triple crown, with the injuries he sustained, with the injuries he sustained, he's not gonna, he's struggling to hold up. 
He's not going to hold up much longer. I'm hoping he holds up. He holds up in 2014. Prince Fielder really should not be fielding at all. He should be DHing. And but we're set at second base and shortstop as long as Dave Dombrowski doesn't make the same stupid move not re-signing Omar Infante. Let Hernan Perez earn the second base. We don't want to size more situation. Jose Iglesias, he's here to stay. And that guy, I have high hopes that he can hit 260, 270 maybe. Either way, he's better than Adam Everett with the bat. And he is super on defense. And he has a little bit of speed. That's going to play nice in the disposition hole, in the disposition spot. Let's look at the catcher. Brian Pinga, he's okay as a hitter, but I don't like his defense. He's a backup. I wouldn't mind having him back as a backup only. Avila, get rid of him. Go after A.J. Frzinski next year. A.J. Frzinski. Yeah, he's old past his prime, but Przinski, if we can get one more year out of A.J. Frzinski, that would be good. It would buy time for James McCann. See if James McCann can be an answer on offense. We know that he's a great, we know that he can field. Let's see if his game will truly translate to the major leagues. That's my take on the Detroit Tigers. And this is the Dangerous News Network, and I'm Daniel McFarlane. And next next videotape is going to be about U of M and MSU. Good night.